So, now we're going to start building questions uh, for our participants to answer. And in particular in this session, we're going to look at descriptive text, uh, content, graphic content and multiple choice questions. Now to do this, we are going to create a vignette whereby we're going to create uh, some text which describes a person, then we're going to add a picture of a person, and then we're going to ask participants if they would want to employ this person if they owned a business. So to begin with, I'm going to create a new question and then change this to the descriptive text type. Now I already have some text ready just to copy and then paste into our question. Um, and sometimes you might find that Qualtrics will revert back to a multiple choice question, but don't worry about this. Next time you change it to descriptive text, it will stay put. Now by clicking on the rich content editor, I'm just going to make this just one paragraph. I don't want to have the separate paragraphs. So I'm just going to go through and delete this here. I'm going to preview how it looks. And I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to create a new question. I'm going to change this style to graphic. I'm going to then select a graphic to use. And I've already previously uploaded a picture of Homer Simpson, so I'm going to have that picture there. And finally, I'm going to create a multiple choice question, so I'm going to leave it as a default and say, would you employ this person? And I'm going to click yes maybe no, and then I'm going to add a response and I'm going to re-put this as yes, maybe no. If it does this, then on your last response just press enter. Um, and then I'm going to write other. And then using the drop down menu, uh, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to allow text entry. So if somebody has an opinion other than these three responses, they can select other and then there's the space for them to write what they wish. Now, after this, you might want to see what these are going to be coded as in the data. And you can do this by looking and clicking on the cog. And then you can click on recode values. And then click in the ticks box. You can see um, that if somebody selects yes in the data, that's going to be coded as a 1. And if somebody clicks 4, that's going to be coded as... Sorry, if somebody clicks other, that's going to be coded as 4. And you'll also get uh, information in the data about what they have typed, if they typed anything. So, this has been a summary of how you can build kind of descriptive um, text, con static content, add in a graphic content, and then use this to add a question.